I told you how he felt about Carl Anthony Towns. I told you how he felt about Andrew Wiggins. And what happened yesterday? He strolls into practice after he didn't get the trade that he wanted, which was to end up in Miami, after he believed that the Minnesota Timberwolves had been procrastinating and roadblocking a deal to Miami on purpose because their belief is he's gonna he's not going anywhere. He's going to come up in here, and he's going to play for us just like we planned. No need to overreact whatsoever. So what he did was give them a taste of what life is going to be like. Maybe not every day, but periodically. I'm going to question the commitment of Carl Anthony Towns. I know that he cares about winning, but I think he cares just as much about his numbers. I'm going to question the heart of Andrew Wiggins, who I think is soft as Cottonelle tissue. I'm not talking about me. I'm saying this is what I've been told that Jimmy Butler feels about Carl Anthony Towns. Y'all guess how I know that. My point to you is he's going to go up in there and he is going to make sure that it is known he doesn't want to be here, and here is why. He's going to go after these dudes. Yesterday, let's take into account what transpired. And this is where I really, really want to go with this more so than anything else. We know Jimmy Butler wants out. Mm -hmm. But we also know that they have contractual rights to him, that if he doesn't go, if he doesn't get traded, but he refuses to play to Minnesota, he's going to lose his money. And when you're the 30th overall pick, you won the first, you won the first overall pick like Cat, Carl Anthony Towns or Andrew Wiggins, you're not, you, know, you don't want to jeopardize your money because you worked hard to get to that point. So we know that. But the point that I want to get to more than anything else, Max, is this. Do you know that folks are reporting not only did Jimmy Butler take the third stringers and beat the starters, but dudes are walking around laughing about it. No wonder he wants the hell out of there. What is funny? If you are Carl Anthony Towns, if you are Wiggins, if you are anybody in that starting lineup, please tell me what the hell is funny about Jimmy Butler taking a bunch of third stringers and beating you in practice. And, show, and, and, and letting the world know about that. Tell me what's funny about that, because that don't make sense to me. Go ahead. It makes sense to me. It's funny because what month are we in right now? Mm -hmm. October. October? Because these guys in a scrimmage in October when mm -hmm. one dude has a premeditated plan of attack to, to show you up and talk about it because he wants out of town, they're like, come on, this is his big statement. Start they took some guys in the, in the gym and they beat the starters. All right, man, you got it. Jimmy, you got it. Here's what this is about. Spoken to multiple people about this. Yep. It's about money. Jimmy Butler wants to get paid. He, want, he went to the team. He wanted the Supermax contract. They didn't want to give it to him. I understand not giving Butler a Supermax. I get it because ideally mm -hmm. he's maybe the third best player, maybe tied for second, third best player on a championship caliber team. I think in certain, in certain circumstances you can give him the max and still win, but you have to be careful. And they want to give Carl Anthony Towns the money. I get that. Whatever you want to say about Carl Anthony Towns, the guy is a Give him his money. Right? Give him his money. I think the real problem is Andrew Wiggins got the money. What does Andrew Wiggins need? With a, I mean, like, good for you, Andrew Wiggins. I'm happy you got paid. 27, 28, 29 over the next three years. Do you even want Andrew Wiggins starting on your team? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want him as a starter. I don't think he's a starting caliber player. Not on a team I would want to put together. I don't know why. Like, he's athletic. That's true. His game really hasn't developed. Really, either side of the ball. Do I do really? And so Jimmy Butler's looking at this like, look at the way these guys get taken care of. You mentioned the number one overall picks. Boy, they get super max. They get as much money as the team can give them, whether they earned it or not. Stephen A., I'm not talking about Carl Anthony Towns' attitude. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about production now. Mm -hmm. Andrew Wiggins is not. Forget counting numbers. Andrew Wiggins is not giving you production. Jimmy Butler is. So this is about dough. Jimmy Butler wants his money. Where did he say he wanted to go? The Clippers. Mm -hmm. The Knicks, the Nets, in other words, anyone with a salary cap space to max them out. Where they don't have other players they need to pay in the near future. Are you sure that that's the only him. reason, though? It might not also be wanting to be on the coast in the big markets? Look carefully at where. Yeah, okay, listen, do you want to go you to the small LA market? You named LA and New York teams. If you had your druthers, do you want to be on a, in a big market? And have, yes, but he wants to get paid. Mm -hmm. So he is getting himself traded, period. Max Kellerman. You're not wrong, but understand something. First of all, the Miami Heat's payroll is at $158 million. He didn't mind going there. He would love to go there. So in other words, of course, all of them, all of the players want to get paid. Nobody's denying that. But that's not 
really the impetus for how he has acted. It's one thing to say you want to get traded. It's another thing entirely to conduct yourself the way that he's conducted himself. There's some real animus there. Oh, yeah. There's a real lack of respect there. And when we talk about Andrew Wiggins, I'm just, I don't know Andrew Wiggins. I've never even spoken to him. All I can tell you is what players have said about him. They don't think he cares. They think he cares about his money, that he don't give a damn whether they win or lose. This is what they've said about him. Now, again, I haven't spoken to him. I don't know, but that's what they well, say. When you are a guy, I, here's what I can tell you. As somebody who knows Jimmy Butler, who has spoken to Jimmy Butler on several occasions along with various others, I'm telling you, he has always been somebody that cared. When I went to Chicago and talked to Jimmy Butler when he was a member of the Chicago Bulls and you had cats in there, he was questioning the coach. He was questioning some of the players. He was questioning hearts. He, he's the kind of guy where if you show him an inkling of not caring enough, it is offensive to him, and he is going to take it out on you and bring attention to you any I'm way he can. I'm not saying no. I'm not saying no to that. The fact of the matter is where he was drafted and then what he became is sort of unique in NBA history. Okay. In the sense that he came out of nowhere to be a defensive stopper. And that's yep. what he's known. A guy averaged five points, whatever it is. But he's a defensive stopper. And he built himself up into a 20-something point-a-game scorer, all-star, centerpiece, the thought was not long ago, of a team that could really challenge the best teams. Jimmy Butler was one of the building block kind of players. I don't know that that's ever happened quite like that. So he is wired differently than other people, right? His wiring that's is not going to be the that's same. What I'm yeah, I, I appreciate that. And the animus is obviously real right away. Everything that I've heard, right away with Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins, the animosity mm -hmm. was real. But if you're going to ask, why is this happening? You need to select one reason. It's because he wanted the max contract. They didn't give it to him. They gave it to them. And now he wants out. He, he wants to get paid. He